Episode 23 Falling in love with Yi Tan after being trained, Ching Heng and the others really don't know how to help Yi Tan, so Yi Tan took the talisman on his body and got along with Wenrin by himself. Wenrin made a flower umbrella, originally Yi Tan came to tease him, but now he replaced it instead, Yi Tan was overwhelmed, so he had to leave first. The play still had to continue, and under the slow reminder, Yi Tan thought of a way. She quickly found the Fun Fun Pavilion and invited Wenrin to go shopping in the market, Wenrin immediately agreed to her. The fortune tellers consisted of Ching Heng and the others, and a white-haired old man pretended to be a fortune teller, and lied to people that his life expectancy was less than two years. What the fortune teller said was the same as Wenrin's life experience and personality, so Wenrin believed the fortune tellers saying that he and Yetan had a deep marriage, and if he reigned in the precipice, he could renew his relationship with Yetan. Ching Kue begged to see Ying Zhao, she wanted to use the whereabouts of her spiritual consciousness as a bait to delay Xin Yuan Jun for a little longer and at the same time save Yetan's life. Ying Zhao and Ding Yun believed Ching Kue's words, because Ching Kue's words were true. It's half fake, it's not obvious that it's a lie. Ding Yun doesn't like Ching Kue, but Ying Zhao persuades him that he needs a smart woman now and if he doesn't like her in the future, he can choose another one. Xiaofeng and Gu Haichao saw Ching Kue not far from the Assassin's Fragrance Hall. They didn't know why she came to the Ying Zhao office, but they still secretly protected her. The girls headed by Lu Rong came to the Fan Fan Hall to find Wenren to settle accounts, and Wenren also paid the price for the romantic debt he owed before. Lu Rong gave her a pure and clean belt, and if she felt love, the belt would be taken away. Tight. Ching Hung told Yetan about Wenren being besieged by a woman in the Fun Fun Pavilion. Yetan learned the cause and effect from the servant, and couldn't help but applaud slowly. Di Longyue and Wu Qing stayed in the bamboo room, the two stared at each other, thinking differently in their hearts. Slowly called Di Lan to discuss with Yi Tan, Yi Tan said that he urgently needs a magic weapon that can listen to people's voices so that he can better capture Wenren's heart. Di Longyue was forced to take out her heart-hearing earrings, and Yi Tan put them on for a try, and found that she could really hear the voices of everyone in Qinghong next to her. Hearing that people feel sad from the heart, the belt will tighten when thinking about emotional matters. He decided to play the piano and paint to get rid of distracting thoughts, but to no avail, until Yi Tan came to him and never left him because Yi Tan wears a magic weapon, she can hear Wenren's inner voice casually, which brings her a lot of benefits in getting close to Wenren, but it also makes her angry occasionally. Later, Yetan thought of a way to ask Wenren to copy the scrolls, so as to get rid of distracting thoughts. The two get along under the moon, and Wenren begins to fall in love with Yi Tan. Yi Tan was always by his side, but Wenren had a worry, if she didn't understand this magic weapon, wouldn't it delay the rest of her life? Yi Tan heard his voice and suggested that he and he should go to Lu Rong to apologize, but when Ren wanted to go alone. Ching Kue tried her best to drag Xin Yuan's army back. She sent Ying Zhao and Ding Yun's Xin Yuan army to Yuowa village. Xiao Feng and Gu Hai Chao called some people from the scout battalion to secretly protect. Ching Kue took them to Yuowa village and Ding Yun pressed the village head and learned that there used to be a fire goblin named Lamu, but this person had left a month ago. Ying Zhao realized that she was cheated by Ching Kue, so she forced her to contact Yetan with a tattoo. Gu Hai Chao brought people to the rescue. Wen Ren went to Lu Rong to apologize, and when she learned that she didn't come to seek reunion, Lu Rong cried.